my contractor cut the grass and stuff like that. And, uh, so, um, been driving along and they did see that I get a text from the young man that I was mentioning that I rent a rape uh, against, sort of, actually, <laughs> uh, my, my friend's son. And he did see, I think, the latest podcast. I sent him the links. And he said he was going to watch it, even though, you know, you'd said before, and I got a kind of cryptic, um, you know, text from him. Uh, and it was, I think it's a good text. And he just said, keep it up. Now, uh, I kind of tended to ask him, what does he mean, keep it up? Does he mean keep up the renting and raving against youth of today? You know? Um, and against uh, Peterson, against the balls and all of that stuff, just, just renting and raving? Does he mean keep that up? And this kind of renting and raving against him, too, because he was going to... Raving against him. Yeah. So, does that what he means? Or does he mean keep up with uh, staying clean, clear off of the, you know, what substances? So, I think he means both, actually. I think he actually means both. So, that was kind of encouraging, even though I, I didn't kind of, you know, I didn't attack him, and, you know, I, I, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just didn't, I just, you know, the, the, his uh, views and attitudes just, you know, and then the people that he really admires. Uh, and the, 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 the so-called rap music and the, you know, and as I said, I'm kind of thinking of rap, you know, but, but then he's got a very limited thing of what is constitutes rap, and to him, I think, you know, I like The weekend, but The weekend is um, something else, rhythm and blues, and I didn't even mention Post Malone, I'm pretty sure that to him Post Malone is not rap either, it's pop something, you know, so anyway, um, I did get, a, I did get a response from him, so, uh, okay, I'll keep it up, whatever it is, you know. Now, um, I'm driving along here. The, the whole music thing. It, uh, uh, you know, I was listening to top uh, 40 music, uh, top 40 radio notes. It's mostly shit. It's hardly anything, you know. So, I'm just driving silent. And then I do have a CD player in this car. I don't have a Bluetooth, but I do have a CD player. And I only listen to actually one song when I drive. And that is on a, and, and I've got it uh, because on a, um, a compilation um, uh, tape uh, CD and it's uh, Lenacorn's The Future, you know? And I guess that's age appropriate for me, Lenacorn. I know that my friend's mother is a very big um, Lenacorn fan. And I'm okay, I, you know, I, I agree with some of what he says and, you know, I think it's very, very accurate in a lot of things, you know? And I said this to somebody who said this as well, an artist is sort of a prophet, you know? So, I you know, so I'm driving along and I'm listening. Now, I would have played the song, but that gets me into a lot of trouble because the last, well, it gets my my YouTube things, uh, you know, the band. Because I was driving along last time and I, I, I had the song in the background, and then my uh, my video got uh, blocked because there was a copyright infringement because of the Leonard Cohen song. Whoever it is, Warner Brothers, whoever owns that, you know, the copyright. And then last night I had copyright infringements because there was a song playing at the restaurant when I, um, you know, ate, when I had the you know, breakfast. And uh, there was music playing in the background. And I think I even refreshed, just said there's noise back there. I didn't even know what song it was. But it, somehow the, uh, the, the thing picked up what it was and I got a, I got a block for copyright infringement and said, your, your video will be demonetized. I don't get a single cent for any of these and I don't get any. Any commercials or anything, and I, go, I, I have hard, I have 47 viewers. I mean, I have 47 subscribers. Not going to be monetized, you know. But then, um, uh, and then the weird thing is, they said from um, uh, six minutes and 20 seconds to um, eight minutes and 13 seconds, and I tried to block that, but I couldn't. And I had computer issues, and, uh, and I had phone issues, and I didn't know what to do. And, but for some weird reason, the second half of the, which didn't even have the song. Second half of the video got blocked, you know. Uh, and then I had to tape it. I had to uh, post it separately, and, and then it got allowed. So that's now part one and part two. My, my the, the ranting about uh, Peterson and, uh, and the Pauls is in part two of last night's. Uh, these, and I've had quite for me. I've had a lot of views on those so far. I think I had thirty on the first one, the first part, and like seventeen, eighteen. Now. 30 and 17 or 18 isn't a lot compared to 5.4 million or even <laughs> not a lot <laughs> for me it's a lot it's good you know 
I don't really give a shit anyway. I mean, that whole thing, yes, I know. I, I keep saying I don't really care. And I, you know, but there's still, there's still a little bit of shadow and resentment stuff there. Like, you know, how come these people all are like, spreading off, you know, you know, the, the shit, you know? There are millions of people. And I'm just being a dusty dumpster room and weasel and existentialist and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, and I, and I get like dirty. Dirty, you know, it's like a, anyway, uh, I'm driving along listening to the future, and I can't plead for you. Now, I don't think I know all the lyrics, so I can't sing it either. Oh, by the way, the phone is in the, uh, in the holder, so I'm not touching it, it's that free. So, um, I can't sing it for you, because I don't know all the lyrics, and if I sang, I would lose, I guarantee you, I would lose probably every single one of my 47 uh, viewers, uh, my uh, subscribers, it would just, it would just go down to like zero. And, like you know, if I sang, so I can't sing, right? and I don't know the lyrics, but I'm gonna try to tell you the lyrics. I do it kind of nutty pro style. So, but it's gonna be a little difficult because I don't know them. So I'm gonna play a little segment from the song. I'll see how this works. I'll play a little segment of Um I don't have, a, I don't know how to pause the thing on CD. I have to keep turning the thing on and off. But I think that might work. And then I can always pause. I don't have to pause on the on the um, on the phone. So let's do this. You know. So I'm gonna turn on the thing. Uh, come on. No. Oh, the button. The wrong friggin' button. Okay. Okay. I got it. If I play music, then I'll get friggin' people. You know. The, you know. They'll get copyright infringement. I can't play any music. So I gotta pause this first. Okay. I'll leave out the first part of it. You know. Give me back my broken something. And then. Uh, uh, something else, and then, uh, the, but the part I know is, it's lonely here, there's no one left to torture. I'm tempted to sing, but I lose all my mirrors, so I can't do that. I pop. This part's clear. Um, uh, give me absolute control over every single living soul. Lie beside me, baby, that's an order. Uh, this part is probably my favorite line of any song of any time, and I know this one inside and out, and I've heard this line for so many years, and I'm even tempted to sing it, but I won't, because I'm with my, all my, uh, all my very few subscribers, you know, but it's, you know, uh, Give me crack, anal sex, take the only tree that's left and stuff it up the hole in your culture! And then there's some doo-doo-doos after that. And I'm not gonna do the doo-doo-doos. If I sing, I'll lose it! No, I can't sing! I can't sing! I'm a terrible singer! Uh, pause! Give me back the Berlin Wall. Give me uh, Stalin and St. Paul. I've seen the future, brother, and it is murder! He wrote this in 1990! Holy shit! Amazing! Things are going to slide, slide in all directions, won't be nothing you can measure anymore. The blizzard, the blizzard of the world has overturned the threshold and it's something with the soul. One second, I gotta listen to that again. Yes, it is the, uh, the blizzard of the world has overcrossed the threshold and it's, it's something the order of the soul. It's, it's messed up the order of the soul. <laughs> kind of, kind of, it's kind of hard to grasp that one. Anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep going, you know? Uh, and I know this line quite well, too. When they said, I'm not gonna say it! It's so tempting! You know, I, 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 I can't, I can't risk losing my, my very few uh, viewers at this point, you know? I don't have millions to spare! So I can't see, but it's a, you know, it's just a, when they said, when they said, repent, repent, I wouldn't do what they meant, you know? And then there's lots of doo doo doos and there's backup singers. I can't do any of that shit anyway. So anyway, you know, but you know, that, I think I played this song for my, my, my cousin's son last year when, when uh, uh, he came with me on the script where I drove him, you know, was stopping in my country house on the way. And then, uh, I think I played it. And when you talk about the whole, like, you know, and kind of, I get the name, you know? Uh, when they said repent, repent, what do you know? It's one of the reasons why the whole 12 step thing and the, you know, the asking for forgiveness and the, the redemption and that whole thing that just doesn't wash with me. None of that stuff washes with me. But you know, I, I'm not asking anyone for forgiveness, you know, um, or anything, you know. So anyway, that's that. So what they say? Don't sing! Not professor! Don't sing! 
You lose your, you lose your, uh, your viewers. Now pause. You don't know me, friend the wind. You never will. You never did. I'm the little Jew that wrote the Bible. You know. Now that's the whole thing too. I mean, you know, he 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 was, you know, he grew up in a very Jewish um, uh, family. You know. Montreal, you know, um, and he knew people like, you know, the, uh, uh, he knew people like Mordecai Richler and all of that, and then they grew up in the same neighborhood, and then, and, but then later in his life he became very, very devout Buddhist, you know, and then he was very, um, yeah, he was very, uh, I think he became a high-level monk or something, and he lived in Baldy Mountain somewhere in a Buddhist retreat uh, or something, and then he was, but uh, I also something about how even when he was a Buddhist, he still saw himself as Jewish and he didn't see the two as incompatible, you know? Now, I have talked about how, I think my viewers know how I feel about all organized religions, you know? All, you know? And, the, the, you know, the, the one that, you know, kind of have, uh, the, the, that I would come closest to uh, agreeing with aspects of it is Buddhism. But I do have a much earlier podcast in which I did tell the Buddha to fuck off. You know, I think it's podcast number three or four, way back three years ago. So and I was driving along too, and then, and then, then you know, then I uh, kind of saw a vision of Buddha and I told him to fuck off. You know, uh, because I have the whole eightfold path. The Nutty Professor, you know, I do, I do some of the stuff, you know, you know, life is suffering, it can be overcome, it can be overcome with the, the Four Noble Truths, the Old Earthful Path, but the Nutty Professor does not follow paths, you know, you know and he was, he was very prescribed, and, you know, so, yes, I get it, and, you know, and he was very good at following and being the, a Buddhist, and, you know, a Buddhist and all that stuff, and, you know, stuff I think, you know, so, anyway, uh, let's continue with the saga, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to post this in a week, you know, you know, anyway, pause. I've seen the nations rise and fall, I've heard the stories, I've heard them all, but love is the only engine of survival. Do, do, do. Now, I, I did actually use that line on one of my podcasts, you know, recently, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, you know, yeah, when he was really, really struggling, and, and I think he was talking about love, but you know, and love being the only men, uh, uh, mechanism of survival. And I think in my context, it was just, you know, the love of my friends and the love of my cats and the love for my cats, you know? And that's, that's about what I love, you know? So, you know, my cats and my, my very few friends, the ones I can count on the fingers of my hand, like there, you know? So anyway, you know, I wasn't saying goodbye, by the, by the way. That's also the Nutty Professor traditional goodbye, you know? But this is like counting the friends, my friends on the fingers of my hand. Okay, pause. Your servant here, he has been told to say it bold. Uh, it ain't going any further. I think I left out something in there, but you get the gist. Uh, something with, you know, the wheels of heaven stop, feel the devil's riding drop, uh, get ready for the future. It is murder! Chorus, you know, the thing sliding in all directions, you can't measure anymore, and all that stuff. Yeah, and that blizzard of the world overtaking the soul stuff, too. And then, yeah, the, uh, when they said repent, repent, I went to what they meant stuff, you know. That's all chorus. There'll be the uh, breaking of the ancient uh, Western code. Uh, your private life will suddenly explode. There'll be fires in the road and the white man dancing. And I think that does kind of describe the kind of shit that's happening since the, the border, you know, the last couple of years during the, the reign of you know who, you know? So, you know, the white man's been dancing, you know? Anyway, pause. You'll see your woman hanging upside down, her features covered by her fallen gown. Now, this is, again, you know, it's really a Jungian image, because the Jungians would see this as, uh, you know, it's an anima figure, you know, the fact that she's hanging upside down, which is also a, that's also a tarot thing, the hanged man, but the hanged man is hung by his, um, his uh, ankle, you know? Um, so, there's an anima figure there, um, it's that kind of tarot thing, it's kind of very symbolic. Anyway, you know, I mean, he was into archetypes and all that, as I said before. And he was, he was, you know, quite familiar with the author and all of that, you know. Uh, so anyway, uh, pause! Oops, 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 I got to turn off. Um, and all the little lousy poets skipping around, trying to sound like Charlie Manson. 
and the white man dancing, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of men that like stand there, you know, and it's like, you know, just all this shit going on. Anyway, pause! Zoop, 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 zoop. And we're back to that, um, give me, uh, bring me back the Berlin Wall, give me Stalin, Nerds, and Paul. And then he adds, I mean, you know, he was into the religious imagery, and I, you know how I feel it'd be. 80 firm of organized religion. Uh, but you know, the, the people seem to think it's powerful imagery, but it was like, give me price to give me Hiroshima. I personally don't like either of those options, you know. I'm like going, can you make that multiple choice, Leonard? I, I, I don't really like the price shit or the Hiroshima uh, shit, you know. Neither one of those is particularly appealing. Um, um, but then he, uh, he, he's got another one there where. Uh, where he goes, uh, destroy it. I guess it's also you know, a lot of shit, like a lot of the stuff is going on uh, in the States and here and all of that stuff. He goes, destroy another. I never would have figured him for being, uh, you know, uh, anti choice. But I thought he was just doing this as a kind of a, you know, imagery thing. But he was like going, uh, destroy another. Let's destroy another fetus now. I never liked children anyhow. I like that last part. I totally agree with it. Totally agree with it. Yeah, really, the anti, uh, the money uh, profits definitely anti, anti human child. I wouldn't harm them or anything. I just don't like them. I just don't want them around me. You know, they just, you know, they do not compare to cats. That's all I have to say. You know, but I don't think anyone should harm children by any means. No, you know, no, 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 you know, no, no harming of children or, or even dogs or anything. You know, uh, fine. You know, that's the, that's the that is the nutty professor's rule. That is professor. Nutty Professor Madam motto. Do not harm, you know, uh, cats, number one, and then other uh, species, you know, the, uh, any other four-legged animals, you know, uh, any other furry animals, don't harm, and then humans, try not to harm, if at all possible, you know, uh, children, adults, try not to harm anyone, you know, that's, that's all my only rules, I don't have any other rules, you know, none of the uh, rules can apply, you know, so anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's finish off the song, stop. Pause. I gotta, I gotta drive too. Where am I doing? I mean, where, 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 is it playing? Is it not playing? I paused. Uh, more of the chorus. The uh, the overturning of the soul on the threshold, and the you know, and the and the repent, repent, they went to what they meant. And it's done. There was a little drum thing, and and it ended, you know. So, if anybody is stuck with me this long, like, stop, 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 stop. Uh, so, uh, if anybody has stayed with me this long, this has been the Nanny Professor's rendition with trying not to sing, you know, I uh, hope, uh, the future by the, the incomparable Leonard Cohen. And I suppose that the, with the young man, when he was giving me his lyrics of his, his, his one or two little rap thingies, you know, Machine Gun Kelly and people like that, and you, when he was playing his um, uh, music to me, and uh, uh, you know, and he was very disappointed that I didn't have the movies in the car, so that he couldn't, you know, had to play with the speaker. But to him, I mean, the, 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 those lyrics and that that, uh, that music moves him the way that this stuff does to us all people. And you know, even even this, I mean, yes, I get it. I, you know, it connects me to a point. I agree. And it was, I think, he was a prophet. You know, he was a prophet. You know. It's, because he wrote this shit in the early 90s and it's pretty much got through. He's pretty much predicted everything that happened politically in the, in the States and here and the, the rise of the right and all of that. He predicted it, you know. But at the same time, I'm like, and I, it's the only thing I really listen to the car and I, I like it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't know. I'm on my own prep. I got my, I have my own versions of this. The, uh, the Dusty Guns to Rodent Beetle version, you know? And, uh, and yeah, this is good. And, uh, my friend is, uh, is really, really, really into him. And, and uh, you know, I've, I've got a CD somewhere, but I don't even really listen to it when I'm writing. Only this one song. Uh, and because it's on, it's, uh, and this one CD has been in this car for the last two years that I've had the car. And that's the only song on the thing that I, I play. And that's when there's nothing on the radio that I want to listen to, and I still don't, I don't want silence, I just listen to that song, you know. So, anyway, this has been the Dusky Buddy Professor's rendition. I hope they don't copyright infringement for me, uh, 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 because I, 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 well, I didn't sing it. I was really careful not to sing it, you know. It's like, sang 
a couple of nines. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure next time I check my viewership, it's going to be down to like 43 or something. You know, I can to lose viewers. But that's the first thing that's going to be it. So anyway, look, that was my rendition. That's the, the Nelly Professor does interprets. Um, it's going to be the title of this podcast. So, uh, so now I'm, 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 you know, I've got to go to the house, cut the grass, do all of that stuff, uh, meet my contractor, and then get back to the kids. And I promised them I wouldn't do you know what on the way back. So, I, I promise is a promise. Uh, when I promise my kids, then, then I keep it. So, I can't, even if I wanted to. And I don't. I don't want to be a dus- dusky comfortable result today. You know, it's day nine! Anyway, so I will go and I will try to edit and post this. It's going to be a little difficult because I'm having phone troubles and, and uh, computer troubles. And I think I need to see my tech support friend again. You know, uh, you know, we have this thing where, uh, you know, when I need a supporter, you know, we have lunch and then she helps me. Anyway, uh, bye for now. Uh, Nighty Professor is, oh, we're approaching Dutton. Uh, we're getting close. Anyway, bye for now. Bye for now.